good life. Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. Obviously, as always, another exciting day in my kitchen. I started to laugh here uh, right before we started recording. Uh, Andre Bruccelli is, uh, is playing right now. There's a scene in the end of Step Brothers when they were at the Catalina Wide Mixer. <laughs> and when Will Ferrell started singing, all right, all right, I digress, I digress. So, funny, funny movie. But in any case, Great, exciting day here in the kitchen. We're going to make, you know, for those butter, butternut squash lovers, pumpkin lovers, we're going to make a roasted butternut squash. Are you ready? Are you with me? With, I know you are, obviously, with Parmesan cheese, okay, right? Garlic. Oh, and then we're going to add some other, you know, that cooking Italian Joe, that mm, some other herbs, some walnuts. Oh my God, this is going to be fantastic. So this is fun and, and relatively easy. The only, the hardest part of this whole thing is to, is to prep your butternut squash. That's pretty much it. All right, so let's get going. I know you're excited. Let's jump into ingredients. The main character on the marquee is going to be a butternut squash. So like two to three pounds of a butternut squash. I like a nice dish uh, to serve it. This is just a beautiful dish made in Italy. I got it in Italy and it's just, I just think it's gorgeous. It's a, it's very old rustic kind of Puglian, Tuscan kind of feel. So I'll show you how to prep this and get all of our beautiful roasted ingredients right in that dish, okay? Secondly, you're going to need some bread. Now listen, you can use any kind of bread. It doesn't have to be stale. I've got some beautiful salted rosemary, but I've used garlic. I've used an olive bread before. So we're going to use about a slice or two of bread out of this. Uh, we're going to need some herbs, right? Some flavors of Italy, of Italiano, right? So I've got thyme. And I love thyme for so many reasons. Number one, it's very what you would call earthy. It's grassy. And it goes, my mouth is watering. It goes so great with different meats. So I've got a half of a teaspoon of thyme, dried, okay? You'd use a whole teaspoon if it was fresh. And I've got a half a, oh, rosemary. Gotta love rosemary. Mm. So I've got a half of a teaspoon of dried rosemary. Again, if you're using fresh, or, or you're gonna use more. Dried is always more concentrated, right? We're gonna use a cup of grated Parmesan cheese, Parmesan Reggiano. Oh God, I mean, it is the king of cheeses. It's got that, that creamy, that creaminess and that, that tang, just so delicious so much of flavor of Italy. And then we're gonna use some walnuts. I'm gonna chop these, but I've got about a cup of walnuts. And I'll show you how to prep those to get them ready. Obviously, we're gonna need some garlic, right? So let's let's grab some of this there. So I've got four cloves. That's right, you heard me, four cloves of garlic. Don't, don't wimp out on me. If you're not a garlic lover, what are you watching the show for? I've got four tablespoons of butter. I've got fresh ground black pepper. Mm, nothing better than fresh ground black pepper. Always go with it. It's still got those oils. It's going to bring you a lot more flavor. Next, we're going to need some salt. So here I've got some uh, pink Himalayan salt. I love pink Himalayan. It's, uh, it's very earthy. It goes so great with this type of dish. It's filled with minerals, so it's healthier salt for you. It's briny, so it doesn't give you that really quick bite. And, uh, you know, pink Himalayan, I gotta be honest with you, it's sexy, you know what I'm saying? So we got pink Himalayan salt. We're gonna use probably about half to a full teaspoon of salt. And last but not least, guys, we're going for olive oil. That's right. So for anybody new to our show, I own a farm in Italy, uh, and we make olive oil, so I named it after my two sons, Vito and Joey. And uh, it's in Puglia, so it's right above the heel. And our olive oil is, uh, is really, it's got a lot of flavor to it. So it's grassy and earthy and peppery. Uh, it's just absolutely delicious. And we co-op with a group of farms in the whole area to bring you some of the best olive oil, extra virgin Italian only olive oil. So if you click the link right in the description here, or you go to my Facebook page, Cook in Italian with Joe, or our website, Cook in Italian with Joe, where you can get our recipes as well. Um, you can click buy it now, we'll drop ship you a large, small bottle. All right, so let's get going. So I've got the oven going here, and I've got it at 400 degrees, and I've got the middle rack open. So we're gonna roast our butternut squash in there. So I wanna get that oven nice and hot so that when everything's prepped, we're ready to go. Secondly, let's start prepping our butternut. So first step in this process is to peel this. So get yourself a good peeler. This is the hardest part of it, cleaning and prepping this. Rest of this goes easy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start peeling our butternut. Okay, my squash is peeled. Now we gotta cut it. 
And now just be careful on this part of it because this is slimy. You got yourself a sharp knife, okay? So I'm just gonna cut the top off. You can see that beautiful, see that beautiful orange of the butternut? And then I'm gonna cut the bottom off. And now real simple, I'm just gonna cut it right in half. Easiest way I find to do is just go right through the top. And now we gotta scoop this out. We gotta scoop our seeds out. Let's clean everything out really good. Now we're left with our insides there with all our seeds. So we're gonna discard all this. But I'll tell you what makes this go by a lot faster. You got a little Jerry Vale, Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Perry Cuomo. Today I've got Pandora Italiano going and I got Jerry Vale playing and some Sinatra. So that made a huge difference. I'm gonna cube this. I'm gonna put it in a big bowl. So get yourself a big bowl because we're gonna start mixing everything and the rest of this is easy. So the easiest way to do I find is just cut it right down the middle. And then the key here is to make sure everything is cut the same size because you want everything to cook the same rate and then what i'm going to do is just go ahead and cut them all around this size about an inch by inch or so and then just throw them right in your bowl now i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to add some olive oil Vito and joe's obviously and i want to give it a good stir i want everything coated so that it acts like a glue everything will stick to the butternut squash all your herbs will stick Everything looks great. Obviously, this smells great. I'm going to add my thyme. I'm going to add my rosemary. I'm going to add my pink Himalayan because it's sexy. And now I'm going to add my fresh ground pepper, probably a good teaspoon as well as a teaspoon of salt. Now I'm going to add my garlic, my four cloves. I'm going to put these babies in a mincer and I'm going to just load it with absolute deliciousness. Now, in regards to the garlic, you guys, I just want you to stay calm that... It seems sometimes like a lot of garlic for people, but this is going to be roasted so that 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 brightness sometimes that that strength of the garlic that becomes nutty and and soft and just delicious rustic flavor. So now I'm going to go ahead and, and stir all this up. I want to get uh, just take your time, get everything mixed in really well. And now I've got one more thing I want to add, and that's going to be our nuts. Now I'm going to chop all the nuts up, but I'm going to use about three quarters of them, I'm gonna save the other part for the topping. So my nuts are all chopped up, so I'm gonna take, you know, about a quarter of those, I'm just gonna push them off to the side, and we're gonna use that to top it off. The rest of this I'm gonna put right inside. What's great is that all gets roasted with the heat, and then the oils of the walnut come out. All right, now a couple of tips. Let's make life easy, I'm all about easy. You're gonna get a cookie sheet pan, okay? And then I always like to take some parchment paper, just put it right over the top. And then I'm gonna put everything on top of this. And we're gonna evenly space it. A couple of things that make this come out great. There's a red button right here. Mm, when you hit that red button, matches my towel. What happens is you just subscribe to our channel. And when you subscribe to our channel, um, trips, recipes, notifications, anything new with Blogging with Boreo, it'll come right to your notification box. When you hit that bell, and uh, like I said, it always means a lot to me when you subscribe to the channel, and hey, it makes you part of the family, you know what I'm saying? If you haven't already, that link I had her on our Facebook or webpage, I'm just saying, you know, I don't know why you haven't gotten any oil yet. All right, guys, so let's take our butternut squash and spread it right across our parchment. You're gonna take a moment here, don't rush this. So you want one layer of everything spread out perfect and even. Finish that up to the sounds of Tony Bennett. Now we're gonna pop this right in the oven. We're probably looking at about 20 minutes to get this roasted and perfect. Guys, it's been about 20, 25 minutes. Absolutely perfect. We've got golden brown caramelization all the way across. We've got all the nuts roasted, pulling out all that oil, the olive oil, the salt, the pepper. All my herbs, that is exactly where we want to be. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to take all of our goodness roasted here. We're going to put it right in our pan. Everything's in our pot. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my four tablespoons of butter. I'm going to grate in about a cup or so of Parmesan Reggiano. So I've got my cheese in there. Last guys here, I'm going to take my bread. And I'm going to take two slices of bread. And then real simple, what you're going to do is you're just going to tear it up. So I'm going to pull the the crust up, but I don't want to get rid of that crust, okay? I want to use that because that's just delicious. And then what I'm going to do is, just with my knife or your hands, pull it apart. So you got nice small bits of bread. With the crust, same thing. We don't want to get rid of that crust, so just cut it up in really small pieces. Guys, now I'm going to take my bread and I'm going to put it right inside my bowl here. And then what I'm going to do is with my spatula, I don't want to break up my 
squash here, okay, my butternut. So you almost want to fold it in here a little bit. See my butter's melting right there, so you want to get your butter to melt. Guys, everything in here is stirred up. It couldn't be more perfect. I mean, this, the aroma in here is fantastic. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my serving dish here, and I'm going to put everything right in there, because we're going to put this back in the oven. Now I'm going to take my walnuts and just put them right over the top. And my last little magic trick here is just... I'm gonna go over the top with just a little bit more of the Parmesan cheese. Now listen guys, I've got the oven down 325 degrees and we're gonna go in for another about 15, 20 minutes. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna marry and cook and bubble all those flavors together. Mm, it's gonna be delicious. Guys, it's been about 20 minutes. Oh, I mean, got the music of the Godfather playing in the background. That is gorgeous. You can see the cheese just roasted with the nuts, everything that just came out bubbling. Oh, is that gorgeous or what? You guys know it's my favorite time. Oh, I'll tell you, immediately the cheese, my mouth was just watered. So I'm gonna get that perfect bite. Those nuts on the top, just fantastic. See the steam coming off? I'll tell you, my mouth is watered and the aroma in here is delicious. Mm. You get that butternut, the, the olive oil, the butter, the nuts, the rosemary, the thyme. The garlic, hot. oh, mm. immediately you get the cheese, the crunch, the texture, and you get a couple of the walnuts, and the butternut squash just comes through. It's so delicious. You get the crunch of the bread, and the nuts, oh yeah, right there, right there. You know what's beautiful about this dish? Is there's flavor with every bite. Like every layer that you eat is just delicious. Think about that on the side of some roasted lamb or some roasted beef. What a delicious fall recipe. Guys, thanks so much for joining me for another fantastic recipe with Cooking Italian with Joe. Remember, hit that subscribe button. Hey, make it part of the family, you know what I'm saying? And also a quick nudge, guys, hit the link below, grab yourself a bottle of Vito and Joe's extra version Italiano olive oil, a trip to Italy right in a bottle. Guys, as I share with you every week, remember, shut off the television, the cell phone, the computer, just for a bit, get your family around the table, Tell stories, celebrate your heritage. I'll tell you, you'll set traditions that'll last you a lifetime. I know they did for me, guys, from my kitchen to yours. Until next week, you know what I'm saying? Mwah. Good life, full of fun, seems to be.